Alright, just to give you guys another fair warning before this video actually starts and before I get into this angry rant, there's going to be a lot of censored probably in this video just saying, so be aware of that before we get into this video. Another warning for you guys out there, so if you're a young kid, put some headphones on or turn your volume down or if you don't mind censored words, then oh well, but... Let's get right into this angry rant, guys. And uh, first of all, what I'm going to say right now is what the actual Quack. Treyarch. You, you, oh my, you just really fucking destroyed your community right here. You know, we've been talking to you guys already since Black Ops 4 was dying in the last operation already. And we told you guys, pick it up, give us something. And you did. In the first part of Operation Strike, bringing us a re, a new character, a awesome trailer. But in the trailer, none of the guns that you showed in there were in the game. We had to wait for the other season, so we did, and we waited, and we were waiting for the fucking days of summer, like you guys promised. And we saw the trailer two days ago before even was released the update. And I watched the trailer on Instagram, and I just saw that holy shit, they fucked up because they fucking did. Really bad, Treyarch. Nobody has the time for this shit. Nobody. Unless you're going to literally have the new gaming disorder. The, the CDC has finally made it gaming a disorder now. You know, if you're going to dump your social life, dump your friends, dump your girlfriend, your wives, and spend all of your waking hours or 24 hours of your day of your life grinding on Black Ops 4... To get all of the stuff in the game that you'll probably never get unless you fork up a thousand dollars in cash. You're never going to see half of this content. And they did it. I, I was hearing people before even all of this started in the last season, in the last update. People were warning people about bringing characters to the game that you only get to unlock in reserves. Guess what? We saw that with the first Operation Strike thing with four or three characters. I didn't mind the characters, you know. That's an oh well, you know, characters is not a big thing in Blackout. You know, that's not really a big thing. But, but you know what? One thing that I heard one person talk about before this even was a thing was Prestigious Key. And he was right. He was right. Because if you miss the guns in the first seasons, you can unlock them in the reserve crates. Which technically made it pay to win. And then they, but they made it to where you could get them in the season, you know, so it wasn't kind of not paid to win, you know, if you unlocked them. Okay, but now they just went and f***ed it up by having a worse system than they did in Black Ops 3. Because now you can only get the Peacekeeper, David Mason, some sort of sniper rifle, I think, or tactical rifle. And a other weapon, which I... The Ballistic Knife. You can only get the Ballistic Knife. Um, also, what else? The What's the other one that I'm trying to think of? Well, there's another one. That you can only get in the reserve crates. And guess what? If you don't actually fork up cash to get these reserve crates, or, you know, have thousands of upon thousands of hours you can waste in... Black Ops 4, you're never going to see these. You're never going to see these. With how many weapon charms, face paints, camos, and character skins, keep this in mind, that you have to unlock for every individual weapon or character in the game, you're never going to see this. You're never going to see this, especially with the duplicate system they have in the game, where you can get three duplicates by spending, $20, spending $2 for a reserve crate. You can get one item from spending $2. A worse system than in Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3. Because in Black Ops 3, if you got duplicates, you could burn them and you could buy more crates. And also, they had a lot of things in the game. A lot of community challenges and stuff where they made getting crates and bribes frequent. So that you could actually feel like you're getting guns more frequently. In this game though, the way they have it now, I have not seen a single Mark II weapon out of my reserve crates in ages. I have not seen a single one. Not even a Mark II weapon. Not even a Mark II. And believe me, I'm spending thousands of hours in Call of Duty. I'm getting past the 50 tier mark. 
like by the time day 20 rolls around okay i'm unlocking reserve crates reserve crates reserve crates reserve crates reserve crates and getting jack diddly squat every single time okay you see what's happening here you know they're adding more and more stuff to reserve crates so it makes these getting these weapons and characters impossible every single time unless you're forking up thousands and thousands of your <laughs> cash that you earn in real life in this game and I hate to say it and I did already pre-order modern warfare because I want to play the game and I hope it doesn't do this and from what we're hearing from any infinity war they're not going to do what Treyarch is doing with this game right now they said they're gonna make it a lot more fair in their loot system but they're still gonna have microtransactions please infinity war don't update update your game like Treyarch is doing where they're just it over every single f***ing time a new f***ing update happens. They just, they make it look cool and for the trailer and then they, behind the scenes, f*** it up. Bad. And this is one of those instances. Whoever idea this is at Treyarch, or whatever, whoever is doing this, you need to Stop. Okay, you need to. You're literally destroying your fan base every single time you update the game at this point. I'm pretty sure you've already lost thousands of Call of Duty players just from this game alone about how much countless crap you're putting into the microtransactions. Okay? And if you're going to have this loot system like you do, a more unfair loot system, get rid of duplicates. Just. You get rid of duplicates. Make it getting duplicates impossible. You can't even get a duplicate anymore. It'll make it a lot more fair. I'm pretty sure a lot more people would be buying reserve crates if they're going to get three new unique items every single time. I know I would. I know I would. If I was guaranteed three new items every single time I purchased a reserve crate or if I earned one, you'd be making a lot more cash. And I feel like the community would feel like this would be more fair of how much f***ing bullshit. You're putting into this shit. Look at World War II. Look at what Sledgehammer did. If you go to World War II right now, you can buy a weapon charm for a whole set of weapons. Not just for one weapon. For a whole, all of your assault rifles, all of the SMGs or whatever. For that whole weapon class for 200 credits. You can buy it for all of them. Not just for individual assault rifle. For all of the assault rifles. And you can do that for all of the classes. And that's a more fair system. I did that. I did that in World War II. And also, I feel like earning crates in World War II is a lot faster than you are in Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 takes you at least an hour or longer if you're not playing Blackout for ever to get one reserve crate. Unless you're spending money to buy the tiers to get to earn reserve crates or if you're buying the 5% tier boost every single time it comes out, one of those. Unless you're doing that, you're getting jack diddly squat for an hour. You're spending hours and hours and hours of getting duplicates or stuff that you don't want. Oh my god, Chuck. What are you guys doing? You guys used to be the bomb at this. I remember Black Ops 2 when you guys had your freaking cool, unique customization packs. I was buying like three at a time every single time we released a new set of packs. And I'm willing to admit that. You can go look up a Black Ops 2 thing. I can show you. I'm, I am used to spend thousands of dollars in your customization packs for Call of Duty. I really did. I spent, I bought five of them in Ghosts. I bought like 10 of them in Black Ops 2. And I've spent countless of dollars on your DLCs and everything else. And you're pretty much just shoving more and more shit down my throat with this f***ing loot system. Treyarch, you need to stop this. Or if you want to recover from this, make it to where getting a weapon charm, a face paint, or an outfit is unlocked for at least a set of weapons. Weapon charms and camos. Make it to where if you unlock that camo, hey, you get it for all of the assault rifles or all of the SMGs. Or you get that weapon charm, you unlock it for all of the LMGs and sniper rifles or something. Do that. If you're gonna do this or make it to where getting duplicates is impossible because right now you're making it to where you know nobody in their damn living mind or unless they spend the rest of their life grinding this game is gonna get everything that you have in the game. 
there's at least 12 or 20 different weapon charms that you have to unlock for every single weapon in the game, which is about 50 guns in the game. So 20 times 50, holy crap, that's like 500 weapon charms alone in there for every gun. And if you're only earning one item per hour, and it's gonna be probably a duplicate, well, you gotta spend three hours to get one unique item at least. Y yeah, that's not fair. Treyarch. Listen to us. Listen to your community. You're pretty much not doing anything. And there's thousands of people talking about this. Prestige is key. Ink Slasher. Eight Thoughts. All these people are talking about it and you're not listening. All just because these YouTube channels like Hollow and all these other guys are not complaining about it because they, they know if they do, they're not going to be invited to the next E3 event for you guys. Treyarch. Listen to us for once you're doing you did a great job with this update at first you were, you were giving us a community challenge we have not seen in black ops 4 yet you're giving us the grav the galil it's already been in the game but you're giving us to have attachments in multiplayer cool you gave us a grind a, a map from black ops 2 into this game ground war a great freaking awesome game mode i've been playing the shit out of it it's amazing um you brought us a new map update for blackout and it feels so nice it feels great it feels like i'm actually playing in a summer blackout version you've brought us balancing with some of the weapons um you've brought us tons of stuff for this update and then you just completely f***ed all that over with your loot system by bringing us weapons that you can only get in the reserve crates i don't know what else to say to you guys if you guys don't understand this either like i am Leave a like and share this video with Treyarch at this point, honestly. We need to tell Treyarch this because this is <laughs> bullshit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing every single update. The game is getting worse and worse and worse and worse in its loot system. And they told us at the beginning of when this game was released that the supply stream system and the reserve crate system will have only cosmetic DLC. No weapons and no pay to win expenses. And guess what they did? They pretty much scrapped that part out of the contract and added weapons. They cut it out, added weapons into it. And they told us at the beginning of the year when the game first came out, they told us it was not going to be a pay to win game like they had with Black Ops 3. And guess what happened? It's something that me and a lot of people have been hypothesizing since all this other bull crap has been added into the game. It is now a pay to win Call of Duty game. Nice job, Treyarch. Nice job. Woo! You, you making this game worse every single update. And no one's talking about it. It's just in the background of the game. And it's pissing everybody off. And I'm one of them. Because I love this game. I honestly feel like with the blackout mode, you can have countless hours of fun with friends. And with the zombies experience, having no updates and no crap for us alone and I'm a zombies fan I even bought the zombies collectors edition and I feel betrayed for that alone Treyarch listen to us please you need to fix this now or do what infinity war did with the black ops pass or with their season pass or if you had the season pass you got all of the DLC weapons for free you got all of the standard ones you could get their you know, ones from the reserve crates, like the nuclear variants and all that shit, but you gave us the standard guns. You know what? Do that. Every single time a new of these comes out, give us 10 crates. Or give us all of the weapons. Do something. I feel betrayed for owning the Black Ops Pass. I don't feel like I'm getting any content. It's too far apart. And with this supply stream system supposed to be the gap in between each DLC pack, it's not looking good for you. I don't see this game progressing any farther than it is. I don't see anybody watching your live streams whenever the esports community is playing. I don't see anybody watching that. I know I'm not interested in it anymore. None of my friends are interested. Because it's this game is not good. And I'm I'm scared to see what Infinity War will do with Modern Warfare. I hope they don't take it this route because they f***ing do. You can call this series goodbye. You can kiss this ass goodbye because it, I'm pretty sure it's not going to get a lot of good feedback. Because you're already not. Activision, Treyarch, whoever it is, 
over there at your headquarters listen to us because it's not going good every single game right now is just being flushed down the toilet and this is one of the good examples I know this was kind of a long video an angry rant video guys but I really need to get this out of my system because it is bullshit I gave this game three days or actually two days since the update came out and it's not good that's really not from what I've seen from how much I've already played into the game I've already spent shit five six hours already and I've gotten jack squat from the Zerf crates I've already skipped th six seven tiers and I still have gotten jack squat I'm not gonna say the reserve the tier system is alright there's some good stuff in there but the rest of it is just filler at the beginning of the game the, the supply chain systems were awesome they were great but progressively they just got worse and worse and worse giving us less content we wanted and now if they completely got it out of the content we wanted and put it in the damn reserve crates that you can only earn that way thank you Treyarch so I hope you guys enjoyed this angry rant video because I know I had tons of fun raging because this is bullshit but yeah awesome thank you Treyarch love you guys spread the word around do something show this video to your friend play the damn game and see how much bullshit it is because it is it's bullshit anyway this is Cypher 2 signing off man this fucking game work, 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 work.